entirety next on EA TV. Hello everyone, I must say I never tire of coming to this particular stadium to broadcast matches. Welcome to the Estadio de Vallecas. My name is Derek Ray and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on one of the finest leagues in world football, La Liga. It's Rayo Vallecano and they take on Real Madrid. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. It's a short corner. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Garcia. Here's how it looks for Rayo Vallecano. Well, although it's down as a 4-5-1, it's more likely to be three players in behind the main centre forward. And those three are key to this team's creativity. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Kepa stands between the posts. Carvajal starts with Ferlo Mendy in the fullback positions. Tony Kroos starts alongside Federico Valverde in central midfield. And the tactical. Oh, Derek, what a great opportunity. Oh, but denied. Full credit to the keeper. Well, of course he should score, but what a save that is. with the corner the crossbar got in the way Rodrigo nicely blocked that's what you call defending from the front possibilities here and teammates to play it to Vinicius is it going to be a goal on the back of sustained pressure now they Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. Well, I love the celebration, but Ancelotti's got to get his players refocused now. Now the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Espino... Here's Alvaro Garcia. Look they look as though they want to make this move count. Will he play it in? Good example of pressing without the ball. Carvajal. And Bellingham. Now with Vinicius Jr. Really good build-up, but no end product. Oscar Trejo. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Ivan Balu. It's with Lopez. Chance to play it in. Can he get them level? Oh, that is an outrageously good stop. Well, great reflexes from the keeper. He did brilliantly there. Over it comes, and putting pay to the danger. He has teammates around him. Illegal play, and hence a free kick.
And deep into the penalty area. Tony Kors. Wasteful from Real Madrid. Valverde. This is Kors. Federico Valverde. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. A real opening now. Lopez. And still looking to get the shot off. The cross is on. And they need to get tighter. Lopez. Decisive in the tackle. And a throw in here. Oscar Trejo. It's with Lopez. And options in the centre. Lopez. Espino. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. Our winning back possession. And that will do it for the first half. It's a story of Real in front at the break. Well, we discussed it before the game. They are a brilliant team defensively. Their decision-making about when to press and when to delay the opposition has been spot on. I just can't see them conceding today. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Possession lost there. Valverde. Attacking possibilities for Real. Valverde. Must oh, struggle to get it away properly. Rodrigo. That was going in. Mendy. And making sure there was no danger in the end. Crossing possibilities. Well, it's an attractive passing move, but it's all about finding an equaliser here. A tremendous block. Round to make up, and perhaps this corner can assist them. And they're making a change. Well, opting for the short corner. Pepe cuts it back. Lejeune. Value. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Lopez. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. The supporters want to see him have a go, but it wasn't a taxing save. Well, as you can see from those stats, their attacking play just hasn't been good enough. They need to start getting the ball into the final third more often and play at a quicker tempo. Otherwise, they just won't get back into this game. And perhaps a bit fortunate not to be shown the yellow card. 
different story next time, no doubt. Substitution for Real Madrid. Mendy. Mendy. Vinicius Jr. Well, nothing productive, really. An awful lot of green space to run into. Lopez. And struggling to get the shot off. And Real Madrid have it back now. Vinicius Junior. Oh, big chance! In it goes! He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So, 2-0 now. Espino. Valentin. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Baliou. Patient enough build-up. Can they carve out a chance? It's a corner. And they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. How about the short corner? Well, let's see about the cross. Struggling to get it away. Well, they can keep possession of it now. An example of how to press. Rodrigo. Now with Mendy. Valverde This looks promising out wide A really committed challenge and it's gone out for a throw in Well Real Madrid are going to make the change now Lopez on to Aridane Bebe pressure exerted but he keeps the ball well sadly they just couldn't keep possession well nearly there this game almost over and looking at the fans Stuart they appear to me to be more than a bit gutted well, there's been a real lack of energy right from the start of the game, certainly when they haven't had the ball. They're closing down, decision-making and recovery runs just haven't been good enough. And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Trying to pick out a teammate. Not a bit short with the clearance. Oh, good save. Excellent header. The corner kicks keep on coming. And there's the delivery. Reading it well. Pulls it back. 
And the referee says that will do it. It's the end of the game and it's a victory for Real Madrid. No fans are going to be happy with this. Well, we spoke about their great defensive record, but today it was all about their front players. I thought they were excellent. Their ability to turn with the ball around the edge of the box was a real feature of their play. They were certainly good value for that win.